All right, so um, first off, the work that I'm going to talk about was conducted when I was at Microsoft Research India, so thanks to my colleagues there, as well as the partner that we worked with, uh, Pradhan. Um, so the problem that we're talking about here is something much more simple. Um, we live in a world of a plethora of, of digital devices, but at the same time, paper seems to be remarkably persistent. There are still people who use pen and paper, and this is an extremely important problem in the context of rural India, where a lot of important records for all kinds of service delivery are still maintained on paper with handwriting processes. So how do you get that data to be useful? Right? So how do you directly have pen and paper-based processes actually generate and manipulate digital data? Is this possible, and is this useful? So the domain that we were working with is the microfinance domain. So here we're talking about cooperative groups that meet once a week in their own village to pull together small bits of savings and then use the accumulated savings to give out loans to individual members. So it's a mini bank that's running in every village at some level. And this is extraordinary because it reaches, I think there are about 6 million groups right now which you know, cater to the needs of about 86 million women in India alone. So there's tremendous opportunity. But at the same time, the kinds of records that they maintain are of very poor quality, and it's very difficult for a bank to work with this kind of information in order to expand the operations of the group. There's inaccuracy, for example, that looks like 200, but it's actually a 20. Um, and then there are other things which you cannot read and interpret. And this is extremely important for financial records, right? So at the same time, the group has built these capabilities of dealing with record keeping using pen and paper. So how do you build on top of that without disrupting it? And so we worked with a uh, digital slate prototype, which is a very simple uh, sort of device. It has a, a digitizing pad and a, uh, an ink uh, active digital pen, um, an A5 size pad, and it also comes with a three and a half inch uh, touch screen. It runs on WinCE. So the way it works is in the group, you basically have the accounts writer of the group who has about a class seven or eight education in the local language, places a small copy of the ledger book on the device, launches the application uh, on the touch screen, and then starts writing exactly as he or she would uh, with a regular piece uh, of paper and a pen. And as uh, he or she is making her entries, they're simultaneously being recorded in the background, the strokes, uh, and the strokes are then passed through uh, a regular digit recognition tool, uh, and then populating all of this data is then sent to a local database, uh, which is then populated. So you can do all sorts of interesting things now, because the data is live immediately. It doesn't need to wait for a second transcription point. You have a paper copy, and at the same time, you are manipulating a digital database. So you can have prompts and checks to make sure the accuracy of the data is high. At the same time, you can also start validating the data. So once you have the new updates uh, and, uh, generated and balances generated, you can have the members actually start participating in this data to actually uh, either you know, confirm it or to actually uh, raise objections. And this is, again, audio output that is mandatorily presented in the local language. Uh, you can do other things, like you can map digital operations to various locations on the paper form as well. That's a backspace area. So your entire interaction can be just with the paper, with a piece of pen, uh, you know, just with the paper, with your pen, but uh, all of the operations are digital. And so, you know, in our field trial, we had very promising results, both in terms of accuracy and, in, and efficiency, and the completeness of the records was, was uh, 100% uh, just because of the, uh, the checks built into the application. But you can think about this as being valid not just for locations like this, but also where you need to have a paper trail that accompanies uh, the digital data. So whether it's healthcare records, legal records, uh, or educational testing. So feel free to find out more at, our, uh, at this project webpage. Um, and we'll also have a discussion tomorrow. So I'm happy to discuss it further then. Thank you. Thank you.